Yo, 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 where's the spot at, bro? What is going on, y'all? It is Wednesday, episode 46. Yo, 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 what is about to happen, bro? You already know how we do this. It is Wednesday, the day after the 4th of July. What if it was Thursday, the day after 4th of July? I don't know. I'm just talking. Hey, I'm here. I didn't get arrested. You didn't get arrested because you're watching this right now. So you know how we do. We might do more than three, four, five spots today. I don't know. I'm feeling really, really generous. We're going to go check out some places over on Sunset. We're going to go down by the Strip. We're going to check out something by some casinos. Look for some new spots. Maybe hit a spot I've hit before. Hit that like and subscribe button. And you already know what time it is. Yo, yo, yo. Take me to the spot, bro. Right, and we just got to the first spot. And this spot is all the way, I want to say like the south west part of town i guess you would say but it's uh out of Dottie's, so it's like a little gambling thing in las vegas it's right on the corner we're about to check this out definitely a spot you're probably going to want to hit at nighttime just because it is right in front of this store but because it's a gambling spot i'm sure they really wouldn't mind it check this spot out right and as you pull up to this spot you got a perfect three flat three there is a bush right here but you do see the rail marks on here it has been done on both sides it's got a little kink right there. This side has also been done really heavy, as you can see. It's even been done from the top. So you come all the way through here, and then you got a perfect rail on both sides. You got to get rid of the tree on this side, but it's still doable, as you can see. But it's pretty long. It's like, that's a good six feet. Then you pop it onto there. It's a big boy rail right here. Look at that thing. That thing is perfect. Definitely want to see somebody come and hit this. The runway's good. This is right in front of the Dotties um, on Windmill. I'll put the exact GPS. But uh, what a cool spot. Just a flat bar to come and hit. Corner of Windmill and Jones. But uh, everything about this spot is good, especially if you like rails. I mean, it's probably right under knee high where you would get on at. So right here compared to that top stairs, just about knee high. Then you hold that grind. You're going to pop back over that part and over that kink. And then boom, roll right over to the rail really really cool rail spot. hope i get to see somebody hit that i've never skated that um i've never been a rail person like i said the biggest rail i did was six stairs so i'm going to show you some buck spots today these are some big boy spots and uh hope i get to see somebody hit that on to the next all right y'all we just got to the next spot and this one is uh it's on sunset it's literally on the side of the road um i believe i've seen well i hit this but i also seen i believe it ragdoll hit this in his uh recent part like a year or two ago pretty sick spot a lot of the vegas cats have hit it it's a ledge to a bank right on the side of the street this is a dope spot check this spot out All right, so like I said, it's right on the side of the street. It's on Sunset in Arville. But uh, you park up here, and then you got this perfect bank with a ledge on it. It is a pretty steep bank, but as you can see, it is nice and waxed. So basically, you're kind of on a downhill, but the hill goes like this, like you're kind of on a hump. So you come this way, you get speed, you go up, pop right before this crack, do whatever you're gonna do, and you pop off on the bank going this way, and then you roll off into the street. It's a really, really cool spot. Um, I just happened to see this one day while I was driving by. Driving by one day and I, uh, one day and I just seen the wax on the side of the uh, ledge and I was like, oh man, that's a ledge with a bank to it? Oh, I gotta hit that. Well, I would definitely bring someone to spot because as you, as you can see, the uh, traffic is coming and uh, it's a cool, smooth bank. I mean, there's no problems, the ground's good. Um, you don't really need a broom, but if you had one, it would make life a lot easier. It's as high as a curb where you first get on but if you were to like pop at the crack and then get on over here, it's just like a regular ledge. Ends out about knee high. Um, you can also use it as a bank and do flip tricks on it. Then there's also a little ledge on the right side. Right around the corner from where that was, you also have this little ledge right here. 
Um, it looks like this side has been done pretty well. It looks like you can pop in and do a like a tail and a nose slide, you know, on both sides of the nose and the tail. You see there are marks out on it. Come, you got perfect ground up there. It's a, that's a curb, so it's about two curbs high. There's a grate right here. You can probably take the grate off. No, no, it looks like it's welded into the ground. Yeah, so basically you come over here and you pop, you land on the grate and you go out to the street. Really, really good ground, but a cool little ledge spot. Um, winter time would be perfect because the wax wouldn't melt off. But this is right on the corner of Sunset and Arville. We hope I get to see somebody hit this spot. Super fun. Um, I've skated this many a times, attached to clips. And uh, we're basically going to go down Sunset, see what else we could find. I might go through some other neighborhoods. We're going to put some spots on here today. It's the day after the 4th of July. We got to get this. So as I'm saying, yo, 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 we on to the next. Just got to the next spot, and this is a uh, rail spot right next to the street. This is uh, close to the strip. You got the strip right here behind me, but uh, we are right by Bahama Breeze, and there is a spot here. Check this out. So I'm right on the side of the street. This is Paradise. That's Flamingo. That's Bahama Breeze. You got the Silver Sevens, but right next to it, you got this perfect rail. You got a good sidewalk to come and hit it from. As you approach the rail, as you can see, it is right above knee high. There are marks on it. There are rail marks, grind marks. I don't think you'll hit the tree. You've got more than about six feet, but you can definitely come over here, do what you got to do. But uh, I have seen a front board on this. I think that's all I've seen. Um, I posted this spot last year and they're like, oh yeah, that's an OG spot. Really cool, but it is right on the side of the street. You will need a spotter to hit this spot, but... Uh, you got a cool about four foot gap to clear. It is higher on this side, but as you see, it gets narrower as you go down to the street. It's about knee high, definitely a cool rail spot. Uh, I believe this restaurant is closed right now. As you can see, nobody's in the parking lot. So definitely a late night spot, early morning. They also have a little stair set in front of the restaurant. We ain't worried about that, but we are definitely checking out this rail. Really, really cool spot. If they're closed, you got a cool little three stair. It's got a wooden floor. It's got a pretty long little uh, three bar. Uh, don't it looks like nobody's done it, but there's that rail. It's over here. I parked right over here. Just wanted to see what that was. Really cool spot. I never got a chance to hit it. I seen it last year. I used to work at the uh, Hofbrauhaus House like what three or four years ago. Um, that German beer hall. I used to spank girls. Um, people used to tip me, and I would bend the girls over and spank them. So it was pretty cool. Dude was laid out. He had matches on one side. He had a brand new A's hat. I was like, hmm. Let's leave that Bahama Breeze spot. Go check out, see what we got else uh, on the way down. I'm gonna go uh, down Paradise and go down the street and see what we can find. Let's go on to the next. Y'all, we just got to the next spot and this is a big spot. Um, the only person, I think I've seen two people, not the only person. I know um, there's a local in town, Iceman. Uh, David, shout out to you. Um, I seen you board slide this thing on your uh, YouTube. I saw the attempts and everything. I've seen the lands, crazy, crazy spot. I would never attempt nothing like this. This is a big boy spot. It's a double, triple kink ledge. It's a seven flat seven. Check this spot out. And as you pull up, you got this massive stair set. Things a seven flat seven. Yep, you got rails on both, but this ledge right here, it is a big boy. Um, like I did mention, you can go on YouTube and uh, type in uh, Iceman, Iceland, or Iceland, Iceman. Sorry if I got that wrong, but one of the ways. And uh, he board slide this thing, man. This thing is heavy duty. There's a lot of wax on this side. Don't really see none on that side. I've been seeing a lot of wax. I mean, look at that. They said they have some clear coat on it. It's got a lot of wax on this side. Definitely somebody was over here trying that one. You got all the run up. This is a Valley High School. Also treat this as a um, seven flat seven. You can come around this way right here and then you can go boom, seven flat seven. You also got the rails here. A really heavy spot. Um, definitely if you come to hit this, you ain't coming here to mess around. Big, big spot. I definitely do want to see somebody hit this. This is uh, right in front of Valley High School. There's also uh, like a five flat five over there, but there's no runway. This is the main attraction. Definitely hope I get to see somebody hit this thing. Yeah, I would love to see somebody hit that thing. Man, 
just looking at that, you're like, all you think about is skating, but man, that's that's big boy stuff. But so the hubba to the front of Valley was right down there where I showed you, is right there in the front of the school. And then if you come up here, you got the uh, baseball field ledges. These are really dope. There is a lot of construction going on all around the school, so I'm gonna try and touch on the main things here. But uh, these are the ledges, check this spot out. So these are the Valley High ledges. Um, it looks like it is waxed, um, slightly power washed maybe, because this part looks like, man, all the wax is gone, either from the heat or maybe they did power wash it. But this goes on for a long, long ways. It's waxed all the way down. It is a big uh, three stair. So you got the wax that goes all the way up there. You got your little three stair. It's really cool, or a three block. As you can see, looks like a lot of the wax has been taken off. Um, OG spot really really cool i got to skate this a few times had a lot of fun here come to the end part right here you kind of have a little ledge it kind of bends this part goes down so you can come off this little curb thing right here you can skate this thing and then drop out into the ditch really really cool spot um definitely not a summer spot or early morning because man it is hot out here but uh definitely bring wax it needs to be re-waxed needs to be redone um like i said it's an og spot been here for a long time but uh let's go right here and show you what that is come right here there's the famous rail it is big all right and as you approach this this part is on the football field so you got those ledges up here by the baseball field you got the front of the school with that big big kink ledge and as you can see the kink has been cut off on the bottom of this one this is a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen stair handrail more than enough space you go right into the track perfect handrail it's not tall at all um, it's not really too steep. If you like rails, it's actually perfect. Um, goes right into the, what a cool scenery. Goes right into the football field. As you can see, the bottom kinks have been cut off. Front, they got their little bondo job. Looks like it's strictly only in the middle. So I'm goofy, so they don't have it on both sides. So it looks like people are strictly just hitting it from the right side, probably because that gate's more open on this side. But as you can see, it is a weathered rail. It has been done got bleachers everywhere nice football field you got ledges you got a bank with a stair man whole bunch of stuff at this school really cool spot oh and then you got the roof valley high school pretty much has everything but it's a if you man if you can throw down valley high school is the business but a roof drop right here it goes right to the flat um definitely rollable it's hard but it's still you know that roof material but it rolls just perfect you can take it right down to this or you can pop into there after you sweep that out right off the corner of that roof Man, this school had just a little bit of everything. What a cool spot. We just got to the last spot and this is an OG iconic spot. They just tried to skate stop it, but as Vegas already does, they have already taken the skate stoppers off. I was here while they were putting the skate stoppers on. I never reviewed this spot. When I saw them putting the stoppers on, I was like, man, this might have to be rest in peace to a spot. But uh, as you see, it is back. Check this spot out. So as you approach this, this is an iconic spot, meaning this has been here a while. Everybody in Vegas has hit this thing. Um, it's right under your knee high. Uh, it is big enough to board slide. This bush wasn't this big before. As you can see, the skate stoppers were taken off. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Nothing here. There's remnants of the skate stoppers. Uh, they started to wax the middle. This part's usually really waxed. This part right here is usually really waxed. But let me show you what they did. Came down here, I wanna say about a month, maybe two, month, two months ago, and they put these little rebars in here. And uh, nobody really skated this side. This side was waxed, however. Got little slappy curbs here too. People did some slappies. They never waxed it going out to the street. I don't know why, because you do have the space to come in. You can grind that and pop over that little curb. But uh, they are, they did take off all the skate stoppers. So as you see, the ledge is back. Um, they are just starting to put some work into it. A lot of people really hit the end part over here. That's why you see most of the wax. Uh, I did get to skate this last year for like the third time. I will put some clips, but a really, really cool spot. This part right here is back to being normal. This is uh, right next to the Panda Express. You got Valley High School right there. I just showed you that hubba. 
Y'all got a ton of spots today, some new, some old, some big, some small, but a really, really cool little route I took. Everything within about maybe half an hour from each other. Cool little ride. Hope I get to see somebody hit all these spots. Hope this OG spots come back and stays alive. Now it's time to go home because I got to survive and it's hot, my back hurt. I need a, a back of me. All right, man. Yo, 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 what a spot at, bro.